Okay guys, real quick, um, <laughs> before we watch the video, I wanted to apologize for something. I realize now um, that the music was a little bit too loud and at points um, was a little bit uh, pitchy. Um, I just watched the video back myself um, before I uploaded it to YouTube and I wanted to add this in real quick. Also, I'm sorry, um, some of the frame rates um, for the battles, uh, it was dropping frame rates for whatever reason, so I'm going to have to mess with my settings a little bit before the next video. Um, but that's all I wanted to say real quick. Uh, the content itself is good. So, well, hopefully you think it's good. Anyways, I just want to apologize for those two things. They will be fixed um, next uh, next video. Anyways, thank you and enjoy the video. Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris. Uh, you can call me Chris or Prime Vulture. Um, yeah, so thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I really appreciate you guys being here. If you are here from before, from a couple years back when I used to make Pokemon Go videos, uh, welcome back. We're not always going to be doing Pokemon Go videos. Um, I do have some ideas for Pokemon Go videos now that the um, now that they have like Battle Arena and stuff coming out. The game's a little bit more interesting to me personally. Um, and, but if you're new here, uh, what we're getting into now is pretty much uh, just VGC. Um, online battles, ranked battles, um, and I'm really trying to go to some tournaments this year. Um, hopefully I'll be able to go to the regional in Santa Clara. Um, i trying to talk about Sean into it, so Sean, when you're watching this, think about it. Yeah, come with me. Anyways, um, so welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, I would uh, love it if you subscribe. Um, really appreciate the subscription, um, follow, whatever you call it. Um, and if you're returning, well, welcome back. So this is what we're doing now. So if you're into VGC or you're wanting to get more into it but you don't really understand everything, um, that's where I was just a few months ago. Obviously I still don't understand everything and I'm still learning a lot every day, um, but I've had a ton of fun doing this. Um, I've had some great help, <laughs> great, I've had some great help from my friend Green, um, also known as uh, Lugia VGC. Um, if I remember, I'll link his YouTube stuff down. Um, he's an amazing player, uh, qualified for the world uh, invitational last year in Nashville. So he's really good. He helped me build my team. Um, and he's just helped teach me a lot. So for you, if you're watching this, thank you also. Um, anyway, so today we're competing in the 2020 International Challenge. Um, and so far, I am 2 and 1. I played the battles earlier. I was actually just recording the video, and I don't know what happened. Like, the guy quit or disconnected, but, like, I somehow lost, which was unfortunate. Um, I was pretty irritated by that. Um, but anyways, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Um, so, we're just going to jump right into it. Some doubles battles here. Um, hopefully it can find me an opponent faster than it did earlier. Searching for traders still. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so I've been doing this for about two months now, um, doing VGC. I've learned a lot, still have a lot to learn, so if you're wanting to get into it, um, I think my channel will be a great channel to follow along with, uh, because we're basically both starting out, so you can see some of the mistakes and stuff I made, or I make. Okay, so this guy has, uh, but anyways, we'll learn all the way. Alright, so what do we see here? I see no Trick Room users, and I see pretty much everything that I outspeed. The, the Rotom Frost is interesting, I've never once seen that before. Um, wow, and he readied up really quick. <laughs> so I think we go Whimsicott. What else do I like here for a lead? I always like just going Whimsicott and we could even go Mimikyu. Uh, no, we'll bring Mimikyu back. We're gonna go uh, Togekiss, Mimikyu. He has the Gastrodon, so I don't really want to bring Dracovish because I have the Choice Scarf on it, so I don't want to get locked into doing uh, Mimikyu's friend. Um, we'll go Durant. Um, I'm not really too scared of the Arcanine, maybe I should be in the back, but by that time we should have speed control with a Tailwind. So we should do okay. Oh, and our question of the day is, if you're watching this, and you're new to the channel, or not new to the channel, um, did you compete in this tournament, and how did you do? 
Obviously, it's it started last night and it goes till Sunday. Whatever the first is. All right, so we got an all shiny team. Um, I think it's 45 battles each game. Uh, so I'm gonna be trying to get as many as I possibly can. So we want to save our Gigantamax for back uh, for Durant, obviously. So we're just gonna go with a Tailwind here and Dazzling Blink. Or should I try to just get rid of? Maybe I should try to get rid of Arcanine. As fast as I can. I think we're gonna do that, and we might get the first too. Okay, so he's Dynamaxing. Let's see, what do we think of this? I didn't. Assuming throughout. Uh, that's not bad. Hopefully we can get uh hopefully we can get some hard time. Luckily this is super luck and red card. Um just because I like being able to every now and then um eject somebody's Pokemon without having to do anything with like tricks. Um so it hits. Okay. So we're gonna hang on there. Hopefully he doubles into Windsor Cross. That would be ideal for me, I think. Oh wow, an Arcanine's almost dead. Max Steel Spike, okay, so this is going to We are not gonna win. Which is probably a set that I should probably change around at this point. Um, it gets KO'd a lot. So their defense is rising. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this Arcanine before I go into Durant. Um, I do not want another Flare Blitz because I will certainly lose this game because Durant should not take the play. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to. Hmm. Helping Hand Mimic You. And. Just Shadow Claw. Arcanine. Hopefully he doesn't protect here. If he protects, we're not in a good spot. So hopefully he doesn't protect. I can't remember if Follow Me comes up before protect. It does not. Okay. So we get rid of Arcanine, so Arcanine will not be attacking this turn. And unless he unless he comes for Whimsicott, which honestly hopefully he does. But Steel Spike, I mean, he says, yeah. Okay, so that's okay. So if we're gonna bring Durant in here. Or actually, no, we're not. I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, so we just lose the Disguise here, which isn't too bad. So he's gonna have to waste all three turns to get rid of um, two Pokemon. And I do have the Babiri Berry on, on uh, Mimikyu, so there is a chance still that maybe even another one doesn't knock out. Rosalind I think we're just going to help him hand with you again. And... Does Rosalind Frost affect the ranch? Like, is it going to be... Is it going to be perfect? Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out what I should get rid of here. Um... I'm gonna aim. I'm gonna get this into Duraludon. Even though it has the plus two, I just want to get a little bit more chip damage onto it. Although maybe I should have gone for Rotom here and try to get the KO. That's not too much. Blizzard, and that actually can. Add. Okay, so. That was the wrong play. I made the wrong play. So now it's the land 2v1. Put with a plus three defense, the Raladon. And Grant, Grant is very tough. And with his HP loss, it's it's possible. Um, hopefully he misses another Blizzard. Um, I think we can get him to miss it. I don't know, this is gonna be close. Durant is very powerful. That is for sure. Um, 
We'll go into it here. We'll see what happens. Plus three. I think he kind of was assuming that I have to go into the back. <coughs> <coughs> So we get the max knuckle off. If this can KO, I think we win. There's still potential. Because one more is gonna knock out, and then we'll be at plus two, and it connects again. Hopefully this doesn't have like a flamethrower or something. Thunderbolt. Okay. Man, Blizzard has hit all three times. Okay, so we're gonna max knock again into Dralada. And then if we can just blit it's faster. Ugh. I didn't read the kill. So a little too slow for Durant, or for Durant there, which is a shame, because I think we had the easier read into, um, yeah. Uh, well, we'll continue battling. Let's see how this goes. Man, that's a shame. We should have just gone after that. I just can't believe they hit three blizzards in a row. That's crazy. His blizzard's up uh, 70% accurate. Okay, so we got another weird team here. It's almost worse coming against against teams like this. Like this just looks like a team that somebody used on their on their playthrough. Um, so we'll go with Wimpicot again, just for Impelion. I can see a way that this doesn't work if you read Inteleon and Weezing. But, I mean, Durant's really good here against everything. This is tough. These weird teams like this are always. So definitely, Whimsicott, we're going to try to get Tailwind up, um, and, I my kids are going to a lot of stuff here. You know what, we're just going to go ahead and move through here. And we're going to have Toby Kiss in the back, along with, um, Drake Kiss. Maybe we should have brought Drake Kiss last game. I don't know. It's tough. Um, banners, I think mine's better. My player card. I think mine's better than most. Listen to the takeaway. Okay. Alright, so, oops. So, we're gonna be faster here with both, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna help in hand first into Durant, and we're going to Dynamax, and we're going to Max Knuckle. Um, oh, actually, what am I more worried about here? Because we could try to get rid of... We're going to go for the defensive boost first, and we're going to try to get rid of him, because I have come up against a Weezing that has Flamethrower, and even though this guy doesn't look like somebody that probably does VGC all the time, you never know who he could be, but his team looks like a Flamethrower team. Um, so hopefully he doesn't know what Durant, what Durant does. But there's always a hand here. If we can get rid of Weezing real quick. Is he Dynamax and Weezing or Puffer Rock? Puffer Rock? I don't know how you say it. Okay, so maybe he does. His team's just so hard. That's what happens the first first day of tournaments like this. So helping hand, helping hand, hustle, max steel spike with stab, effective. 
Give me that knockout. All right, there we go. That's that's a good start. He's now wasted his dynamite. Hopefully, hopefully, Kaparaja goes into not the ramp, but now that we have a plus four defense, we can for ground move. Super frail, so it probably has a focus sash. So here's what actually we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna moonblast into that. Oh, actually, we have the tailwind. I realize we have not tailwind, right? Yes, we have not tailwind. So we have to fight tailwind and fight max knuckle. Because I realize if we don't tailwind, then Tellion is gonna ask you. Max Knuckle, and then next, if hopefully it's just not now. Yeah, and we get the the attack boost on the Wonder Cut, which is really important. And my Wonder Cut is actually very bulky. Snipe shot. Wow, that did a lot of damage. That's surprising though. That he went for. Depending on what he has now, what he brings out. What I don't want is Inteleon to. Yeah, so we're gonna actually make quick work of that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna Moonblast to make sure that oh, hopefully it outspeeds. I don't know if it does outspeed. And then we're just gonna max knuckle into Inteleon to bring some the Sash. Because I'm assuming that's what it has. We should outspeed. They have no speed boosts. He's really thinking here. Okay, so Max Knuckle. We bring it down to his Focus Sash. Oh, no Focus Sash. Well, Panda Comet is gonna. That's interesting. Was it, it wasn't even Life Orb. So I don't know what item he had on it. Normally, Inteleon always has either Life Orb and it keeps a Dynamax it. Or. Um, it has a focus sash because it's super brittle. It's super fast and it has a super high focus. Ugh, Sand Spit is super annoying. So, Whimsicott's gonna get knocked out here. Which was gonna happen anyway, so I don't really know why he targeted it. He should have targeted Durant. Because Whimsicott was gonna get knocked out. Like um, and now we're just gonna bring in Dracovish. And one hit this. And then, let's see what time it is. 12.53. We might have time for both minutes. Before I play it. And, um, also, what do you guys think, for anyone watching? Um, I don't know what's going to happen first. Um, of like the camera angle and everything. Um, I'm kind of experimenting. I just, like, redid my room. Like, is the light in the back too much? Like, when you're watching this, and like, that's too much. Also, down below here, down below here, um, you can follow me on Twitch, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, I've done a lot more Twitch than I have YouTube recently, um, but I won't be able to do as much Twitch. Um, my internet in my house isn't good enough anymore um, to really do that, but I might be able to at some point. But anyway, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well. Okay. So, one and one so far in the day. Not too bad. I want to pick up this win here too. Potentially. Okay, so what, what are they ranked? Another in the top. I wonder what that move is up to actually. We should have checked it right here. Not that it matters too much. Okay, so this is definitely a more, um, a more meta team. 
um, that they have. So we're going to lead Whimsicott, because uh, I want that speed control. I'm trying to think what they're going to lead with. Um, we don't. My team kind of struggles against Inteleon um, when they got to max it. Like, I'm assuming it's what this one is. I'm pretty sure I've seen this team before. Um, or similar team to it. So what should we lead with? I know they're going to lead Whimsicott and... Most people like to bring Punk Calder in the back. He could also try to trick him. Um, reverse me. Well, that wouldn't make much sense. If he tricks him, we know he doesn't have Italian. Most likely. Um, there's some catch to be a problem. So we'll just go with... <coughs> well, after I kind of want to maybe... Pogakiss, Dracovish, Yeah. <clears throat> Depending on what his lead is, it will depend on whether I Dynamax Jogakiss or not. But I kind of want to. I feel like we've lost Jogakiss two points last couple games. So after this tournament, I can't change it now, obviously, because we're locked in. But after this tournament, I might have to um, change my Jogakiss set and make it a little bit bulkier. Whimsicott Arcanine. Okay. So I think I have like. Um, so we're, we are going to go for Helping Hand here because that gets off before Taunt. Um, and we're going to Dynamax. Max Airstream to get a boost. Um, I'm not too worried about our plan. Maybe I should be. But I want to get rid of Whimsicott. Um, I don't really want him having support. So maybe I should have moved last Raptor. I would have gotten rid of Whimsicott turn one, and then I would have been able to. Would have been able to tailwind after that. So it'll be interesting to see what he goes for here. I'm, I'm guessing that's a play blitz, but, um, Helping hand comes out. Let's see if he goes to the top. Yeah. Okay. So we read that. So at least we get some use out of Wimsicott here in turn one. Snarl. Wimsicott avoided the attack. Unfortunately, Toby just did not. And now that... Oh, well, it... Well, we're gonna see what he has in the back, because Arcanine's getting ejected from the red card. Duraludon. So I think next turn is very safe to... And we're gonna get the speed boost. So we're gonna be at plus one. But he's going to for sure. So let's see, what do I think he does? What is, what is he doing here? I mean, what was the cost of front? So maybe we just switch out? No, we need to make sure we get rid of... That's okay. We're gonna be okay. Because we're just gonna Moonblast, Whimsicott, and we're going to... Max Flare to Raladon. And set the sun up in the back. I think... We're just gonna max Starfall Duraludon. I wouldn't be surprised if we see him Dynamax here. And here it comes. Maybe I should have max Flare. It might have been worth it. Because if he Tailwinds here, he's gonna be faster. So he has like a I don't know if it'll knock me out. I mean, if it's Life Orb, it might. Maybe we should have left him max Star here. Fake Gears. Uh oh. Oh no, that's not good. Okay. So we're probably gonna lose. <sighs> oh, we attack first. There's a chance, one hit. Not even close. So we're gonna match. But at least he can't fake tears for anyway. So when Flakerfish comes in, he might be able to 
steel spike. He might. Oh, and he goes in the wind baton. Not the right move. For sure, not the right move. He's trying to raise his defense. So we're gonna help him. Uh, Arcanine. Do we tailwind or helping him up here? That's the question. Tailwind or helping him? What do we have in the back? Dragonfish Mimikyu. What does he potentially have in the back? He probably has Rotom cut that way. So maybe we helping hand Max Flare. We're gonna go for it. I just I need this Raladon off the field. So we're gonna help him. Oh, Zatanna, still damn. Okay. Well, we're gonna go for Duraludon here. We are going to match play. And hopefully this doesn't mess it up for us in the back. And push the back off. That actually helps if he lifts this. Which hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not. I think it's not. That's really good for us, actually. Loses his Dynamax. We got three good turns out of our Dynamax. <coughs> Snarl again. So honestly, at a minus two special attack, Togekiss. So where's a cut phase? So we can just follow me now. Get a Swords Dance in. this year to get rid of all of these <laughs> unfortunate stat debuffs. He's gonna snarl and so at this point I think it is safer to go with a swords dance on the Mimikyu and follow me because he's gonna snarl so Inteleon protects. So that's really good for us. I mean, this wasn't good because we could have just attacked, but it's okay. Mimikyu Sword Stance. Inteleon's kind of screwed next turn, I think. Will O Wisp. A Will O Wisp on Tokyo. Oh, because. Oh, okay. I get it. Because we follow him. Alright, so fight. We can get another sword stance in. Oh my god, plus four. We don't need it. We're just gonna Shadow Claw and Talion. And. Do we follow me again? No, oh, why not? Maybe he's taking no damage, and you haven't even broken this guy yet. Unless he goes for stuff. He should have snarled. Oh, uh, that's okay. I'm playing on black board, so a plus two shadow claw right here. He's gone. Yeah, night -night. and now we have to recondition the back for our command. Hopefully, this guy doesn't quit like the last guy. Somehow, disconnect from the internet, so we lose. That sucks. You guys didn't see that game, but that sucks. Alright, so we got Dracovish in here, um, even in Sun, um, I mean, yeah, we're just going to finish this red. This should still hit so hard. Knocked out, good night, and we won the third game. Alright guys, well, um, so I will hopefully get this uploaded, well, I mean, by the time you watch it, it will be uploaded, because you're watching it on YouTube. 
But again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I really appreciate it. I appreciate the support. I appreciate you taking almost 30 minutes out of your day to watch this. Uh, the beginning game started out rough. Um, we made some some mistakes, obviously. Um, let's see what we're at, actually. Um, it was definitely a winnable game, but I made some mistakes. But that's going to happen. All right, so in the tournament, I uh, so far we are ranked 5,481. So um, hopefully I'll get another video up tomorrow. Um, uh, climbing it even more. And then from there on out, um, I'm going to try to record as many videos as I can uh, while I participate in this tournament, and then it'll be back to the uh, ranked ladder series, uh, which I am in basketball. And maybe a team building episode coming soon. Um, those aren't too exciting, I don't think, to watch on YouTube. But if you're watching and you want to see like a team building and what my process looks like, uh, let me know in the comments down below, guys. Uh, again, thank you for watching. I, I really appreciate your support. Um, I hope you had fun. Um, and don't forget to answer the question of the day. Did you compete in this tournament? And then if you did, uh, how did you do? Were you just in it for the ball guy t-shirt? Um, which maybe we'll put my character with and battle it tomorrow. Or were you in it to, to practice uh, your skills for VDC? Um, anyways, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Great night. Make sure you get lots of sleep. Get lots of water. 